Question 10. We have two arcs ABC and DEF shown in our diagram. I'm just going to color code them like so. We are given an angle of 108 degrees for both of these arcs. We're given the radius of the small arc, the pink one, and we're given the difference between the two arcs T. So that means that the radius of the big green arc is going to be R plus T. And the question itself is asking us to show that the perimeter equals this. So in other words, the question has, is asking us to find the perimeter, the perimeter of that gray shaded region. So the pink and the green arcs are going to be needed, plus this length here in red, plus this length in here in red, which is T. So that means that our perimeter I could actually write out as the following, two lots of T, two of them, plus our arc length one in pink and our arc length two in green, which I'm just going to color code here and call them L1 and L2. So if I find L1 and L2, sub them into this, I'm then going to eventually end up with the following. So to find the arc length of a circle, we need the angle out of 360. That's 108 out of 360. And that's going to be multiplied by our circumference, which in this case, I'm going to use 2 pi r because r is given. So 2 times pi, oh, don't need the times, 2 times pi times r. That will then simplify to giving us 108 over 180 pi r. So that is L1. L2, very similar, same angle, just a different radius. So we've got 108 over 360 times 2 pi times pi times the radius in this case is now this bracket r plus t. And simplifying this part here, we're going to get the same 108 pi over 180. And I'm just going to leave that in the brackets for now. We have an R plus T stuck to that. So subbing in these for L1 and L2 is going to give us the following. We have a 2T, we have a 108 over 180 pi R, and we have a 108 over 180 pi bracket R plus T. Before I break out that bracket, looking at what we're being asked to show, I noticed that it's a single fraction. So I'm going to want to write this over 180 and mix all of these together as fractions first before I start breaking it out. So we have this fraction plus these two. They all have the same denominator. So I'm just going to take one step right now to add all of the numerators up. So we have 360t plus 108 pi r. I, I can break out the brackets now at the same time, actually. We'll end up with another plus 108 pi r, and we're going to have a plus 108 pi t. Um, collecting like terms, I missed out an r here. Collecting like terms, these two in the middle are going to mix to become 216. So 216 pi r. We've got our 360t at the start. We've got a 108 pi t at the end, and it's all over 180. We want over 5. So 180 divided by 5 will give us 36, which means everything on the top and everything on the bottom can be divided by 36. So for whatever reason, if you ended up with a decimal now, that would give you a clue that something's going wrong. 360 divided by 36 is 10. 216 divided by 36 is 6. So we end up with 6 pi r. And 108 divided by 36 is 3. So we're going to end up with 3 pi t. And that is all over 5, and that is exactly what we want. Okay, they've written the first and last terms on the top the other way around. Actually, they've let, written them all in different order, but it doesn't matter. You're adding them all up, so that is us done.